Chairman. Thank you. Senator Menendez. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, welcome. Thank you. Uh, the President spent a great deal of time on the campaign trail highlighting those neighborhoods and communities throughout the country that seldom reap the benefits of economic expansion but are reliably and disproportionately burdened by economic downturns. So explain to me, how is it possible to reconcile the President's promises and your commitments uh, with the Administration's plan to eliminate the Community Development Financial Institution Fund, the very foundation on which these investments are made possible? Uh, as you know, the President's budget has as a priority to make sure that we reinstitute proper spending for the military. The President is very concerned that uh, we have not in made those proper investments over the last number of years and that that required a huge investment uh, on part of the, the government. So we had to make difficult decisions in where we would try to save money on other areas. While I share some of your concerns with the CDFIs, we had to look at this across a lot of different priorities. It is an area where this market is mature and there is private capital that will come well, in and the me, banks do lend, but I do share your concerns let, on this. Let me respond to that because uh, uh, I believe in a strong defense. We spend more than the next seven countries combined uh, and we can do better, but not at the cost of everything that makes America worthy of fighting for and dying for, and not at the cost of millions of Americans uh, who languish in an economic situation uh, for which none of us uh, generally would want to live in. And when I looked at the budget justification uh, that was put out by the administration, the justifications proposed in the budget outline uh, as to why it should be zeroed out is not even an accurate description of the program's statutory purpose. It said that uh, this was to, quote, jumpstart an industry. That wasn't the case. It was created to promote access to capital and promote economic growth in economically distressed areas. So we obviously uh, disagree on the value of the program because in my mind when there are more than 50 million Americans living in community with high percentages of adults who aren't working and many who have no high school degree, uh, every block has a few vacant homes and incomes are stagnant, these communities desperately need investments that will allow them to start small businesses, create jobs, purchase homes. Uh, this is where I thought I was going to find common ground with the administration, but zeroing out, for example, CDFIs, even in your desire to do national defense, doesn't make any sense on behalf of the very people who you supposedly want to defend. We want to defend, but we also want to create economic opportunity. So uh, even the banking industry, the ABA and the ICBA, said it best in their letter to Congress requesting full funding. They said, CDFI work in the exact communities that were the focus of this conversation. They are uniquely positioned to understand local credit needs. So as we go into the 2018 fiscal cycle, I hope that you can be an advocate within the administration for something that would meet the President's goal and your own stated goal. And, you know, I, I hope to be able to work with you to, to make that happen.